Welcome back, Commanders. My name's Takriva, and this is some more Victoria 2 playing the Divergences mod as the dual monarchy of England and France. And we're still doing pretty well over here. Um, oh, Vinland goes bankrupt. Well, well, well. Not good for them, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's funny, when I look at Spain here, and... Um, if this uh, little bit of uh, Aragon was actually part of Spain, then it would look a lot like the Castile in my EU4 campaign right now. Of course, the rest of the world looks nothing alike, but that's not the point here. Okay, so the economy is recovering after a reload, which it always tends to do. Oh, we're probably spending a lot of money on uh, building tens of maybe a hundred forts i'm not sure how many there are and of course the expansion of my military is also costly Suez so canal phase two is completed in the lakes and near the sea dredges with dumpers were used to excavate the canal oh, oh nationality Here you can see yeah the dark purple is the angua punch clock social reform let's go to a 12-hour workday then Sure thing. Punch clock is a radical new invention that has increased productivity in our factories. However, some labor agitators argue that the time clock is alienating workers from the means of production, or something to that effect. We're not sure where they get these ideas, but we should probably take a stand on the issue. Punch in, punch out, day in, day out, working all day, no time for anything else. Fall into bed at midnight when the working day is over. Working every day, every week, nothing more than work, 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 only toil, no time for pleasure. Tick tock, little puppets. Uh, sure thing, so that means reforms, 12 hour work day, we were at a 14 hour day, so that's gone uh, better. Oh sure, I will get a uh, Kaz's Belly for free on Food as Alone. Upper House rearranges itself, a lot more liberals and socialists again. Actually, quite a bit of separatists as well. Oh. Nationalities. There's quite a few of them. Amazonian. Amazonian native. Ah, we got the Casas Belly against Algeria without losing any... Uh, Septiman. That would be Seven Republics. Without losing any real infamy, so... Here we go. Go to Diplomacy. Uh, declare War. Establish protectorate. They do not have any allies, do they? Nope, they don't. There we go. Annexing Algeria is our current task. Will cost us some... Oh, wow. Actually building some units over here as well. Mm, nope. I'm not letting Scandinavia in at all. Dig in, Cap, plus two. Well, that makes it better for us to do defensive fights. <clears throat> Bavaria, the communism agenda. We want, no, we need a free society where no one is considered to be superior, no one is left behind, and where... Hang on a minute. And where mankind is free from oppression and scarcity. We need a society without a government, without class divisions, and where the workers control the means of production. Also, the Suez Canal is completed. Gain Suez from Egypt, build the Suez Canal. Suez gets Suez Canal, giving prestige. Um, dual monarchy will grant Egypt military access. 120 prestige as well. So now we actually control Suez. That's pretty good. So uh, we have the means to transport this way now. Occupation of Biskra is already over. Let's go to Tugart. Artificial fertilizers. Grain production throughput, tea production throughput, opium, sugar, spices, and a little bit of fertilizer. I bet, where are you going? Oh, they're making their way all the way down there through the Saharan Desert. Well, we do get a impressionism, so that means we have. Well, apparently, expressionism is also already available. Hmm. 
Might as well just get it, you know, why not? When will it be done? April, so 13 months. Yeah, it, research is really fast nowadays, so I'm not worried that much by it. Greetings from Suez. On November 20th, 1859, Ferdinand de Lesseps erected a bronze bust of Waghorn overlooking the mouth of the Suez Canal at the port of Tufik. On the base, he inscribed these words of admiration, in homage to the memory of a generous, though unfortunate man, who alone, without any help, by a long series of labors and heroic efforts, practically demonstrated and determined the adoption of the postal route through Egypt and the communication between the East and the West of the world. <laughs> the East and the West. <laughs> it almost sounds as if someone with a speech impediment said, the rest of the world. Who came up with this? Good point, we did. Anyway, it sounds funny, the west of the world. And the rest of the world? That sounds even weirder. It's like, that's an Elmer Fudd who wrote that. Collectivism, more plurality, and consciousness is non-colonial goes down. So, we actually, our consciousness is, it should be decreasing, but our infamy is also going, no, go away. Bad Aragon, bad. But the less infamy we have, the less conscious our people will become. It is yeah, it's still going up on average, at least. So there's that. <laughs> oh, we lost a general. It wasn't this general, so I'm not too bothered. Italy likes us. Spain, we're almost maxed out again. The Mud March. Hang on. Um, let's ban the Embassy of Bohemia first. The Mud March. The Paris weather did its, did its worth against us. Mud, mud, mud was its prominent feature, and it was known among us afterwards as the Mud March. A female suffragette comment, commented the elements commented commented the elements during the Mud March and demonstrated... Oh! commented so that was what she said about it wow uh, a demonstration march which just this past week attracted over 3,000 women from various organizations female textile workers temperance advocates artists and many other all coming together in a show of force for women's liberation and suffrage on paris's streets a gay enough procession by most accounts despite the weather we watch observe learn and ultimately do nothing we must express our cordial understanding of and support for these sentiments or clearly a sign that this public meeting's nonsense has been going on for far too long. All pops get gain four militancy if you push um, through the uh, where is it? Public meetings from allowed to not allowed. Seriously, uh, we must express our cordial understanding. There you go. Two more provinces, and we have um, we'll be able to integrate Algeria. <laughs> Italy is doing perfectly fine over here, actually. They are now number eight. Shared prestige five from Impressionist Music. Wow, Algiers doesn't even have an army. So that's a shame for them. Conduct census in Burgundy. We have a new political party, the Workers' Party. And Valencia gets deep shaft mining. So let's actually have a look at that party. So the Workers' Party, Protectionism, Planned Economy, uh, Atheism, Residency, and Pro-Military. Yeah, it's quite different from Socialists. They're a lot more aggressive as well. One more, and that should be it. Ammunition and small arms production goes up. Oh, it's not... Uh, no, 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 no. Nama. So this gives us a really good position to just take most of the... Um, Useless desert. Life rating of 10. Indigenous garrisoning the dark continent. Nationalism and imperialism. Social responsibility or profit? Um, social responsibility. Good cement production though. Um, nationalism and imperialism. We already have that one. So... The Dark Continent. Farming efficiency, yes. 
No, it's not actually. Oh, yeah, at the bottom, the Dark Continent. Engineer attack, engineer defense, as well as regular attack and defense. Very good. Breach loaded rifles. Yeah, it's not, not here at all. So it needs something else as well. The Dark Continent. Well, that should be it with regards to Algiers. Propose a peace and annex Algeria. Anglo French Africa. Uh, it's getting bigger. Now the question is how do we actually take them in? Oh well, let's let's at least increase our relations with them. Now that they are my puppet. Aragon. Yeah, Aragon is gonna lose some territory to Italy over here. Hello, we can create a what now? We could sound do something, but it's gone now. Hmm. Famine strikes states. We must aid those starving. Yeah, or else we lose. Jesus, Southwest England. 10% people died. It's not good. Let's intensify the farming yet again. Colonial crisis. Ooh. And I argue that this present resurgence of native unrest in the colony is due only to the continued, repeated and wanton mismanagement that our own officials have imposed on the locals. For if the purpose of our presence in our far-flung colonies is to uplift and educate, our failure is all the worse when we accomplish the exact opposite. Reports reaching Paris the reason for this surge in violence is several incidents of colonial mismanagement. So either... Hmm. <clears throat> either we do something about it, or... Which is, whew. wow, all bureaucrats and rich people in Paris get a lot of consciousness and militancy. Or in Madras, all pops become more separatist. Eh, cricket later, anyone? Uh, shaft mining, nice. That's always good. There's more from Burgundy we could take. Burgundian Savoy, Anglo-French Savoy. Lorraine is there as well. If we go to the region map mode, yeah, Lorraine is quite big. Flandre Occidental is very rich and has a lot of factories. We saw that last time. Savoy is divided between us. Hmm. Dismantling Burgundy, though, sounds very fun. If I were to justify a war with them to acquire a state. It would be 287 days and 11 infinity maximum. Place in the sun would be shorter. Also we have a reform we can do. Factory throughput, factory maintenance, trinket subsidies. Let's actually do the arts endowment. What did people want anyway? Trinket safety. Okay. So they want minimal safety regulations. Well, I like the arts bit, so that's we actually do gain prestige constantly from all kinds of stuff. It's not a lot total, so it's point zero three, zero five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's point two. It's point twenty two every year, maybe. Not sure. What did we? Do? Oh, railroads are being constructed. Uh, Scandinavia's at war. Okay, um, I think the loyalty in Normandy is now fine, so we're going to remove the focus. Retain. What is this? Um, hmm. There we go. Liberal. Britannia. Brittany. And Southeast England. Remove the focus and move over to the eastern counties. Also liberal. I like my nation a little bit more liberal overall, but I'm not going to go all out with uh, the loyalty. That's uh, a little bit odd, I guess. It's still working quite well. So if we look at politics, we can see liberals are 20%, socialists are 19%. Currently, but ideologies are a lot more uh, liberal and everything. Also, the suffragettes that they can still can't vote. Our total population is almost a hundred million people. 
Liberal goes up by 7%. Major Discovery, Impressionist Art. Oh, oh, nice. Annual dividends received from control of the Suez Canal. We actually get money from that. That is cool. Um, call ally against the Russian Empire. Oh. That's a good one. So Russia is fourth with 149. They're sixth. I can... Yeah, I'm going to do this. And I am going to... I'm probably going to be the war leader now. Am I not? Show wars. Yep, I am war leader. Spain is also in this party. Novgorod requires Ingria. So we're allied with the Sublime Port. Let's call our ally. We're allied to Italy. Let's call them in. I'm just a chance to take down a uh, great power that we're actually friend well, not friendly with at all. Is a good point. Hafsid Dynasty is probably forced into the war as a puppet. Um, okay, let's leave Egypt out of it then. Oh, we can do another reform. Um, they still want to trinket safety. And they accidentally did trinket subsidies. Fine. Whoa, do we have so many unemployed people in it? No. Oh no, we're at war. Duh. Bengal joined. Bohemia joined. Italy joined. Sublime Port joined. Italy never called us in against uh, Scandinavia, so... There's that. They are losing that one, though. Not likely going to do a lot. It's just Russia, and we have about a thousand strength for us now. Also, Bohemia is in this as well, so they're going to have some fun too. Scandinavia's decided to grant the Russians access, though. Okay, what has happened here? They took over Sibir? Holy crap. Russian Empire is growing like crazy. And what is this Korea? And this Japan as well. Holy crap. The old man in the sea, um, old poor strata, lo in, it's only in Cork, let's get some fish. Oh, factions, that's the safe working conditions thing, yeah, I know. I messed up there. So, banks, nice, activate financial services. This, uh, the upper house vote will go up though. Because liberals vote 10%, yes. Uh, it's a socialist movement, that's right. But the more that faction starts to organize, the more likely the other parties are willing to... Ah, Italy has taken stuff from Aragon. Acquire Puglia. Only Wurgle. Well, looks good. Back down to ninth place for some reason. I don't mind at all that they are uh, juggling between who is the 7th uh, and the... Uh, well, the 8th and the ninth. But um, we'd prefer Italy to be a little bit further down. Because we cannot keep them in our sphere if they actually become a full-fledged great power. Um, yeah, expressionism. When is the mass culture in the avant-garde? 1900. So we have a while before we need or could even do that. 1880 is analytical philosophy. So we need to be ready to pick that up. It's not a lot here. Um, education efficiency, historical theory. There is even more research points there. So that I don't mind. Um, yeah, there's no the dark continent available here. A breach, standard breached loaded rifle armaments. Yeah, that's uh, also quite close. But when we invent bolt action rifles, we get even closer to that as well. I'm going to do the bolt action rifles so we can get some more tech going on. Hang on, what was it again that we needed here? Uh, breach loaded rifles, indigenous garrisoning. Yeah, we have it, so. Okay, why can't we do this yet? The year is before 1880. Ah. Is that the same with. Yeah, I. I knew I should have just looked here. And same with the Dark Continent. Years before 1900. Okay. But biologism... It, we can, with research, go over that. No, we, yeah, military logistics and steel steamers gives us the 0% plus 
chance. No more than that. Hmm. Interesting. How about the. Um, no, no, no. Breach loaded rifles, indigenous garrisoning, machine guns, and main armament. That's both ships' things, right? I think so. Yeah, they will basically unlock by year. Steel steamers, main armament. So we're going to have to do some ship-based technologies as well. Anyway, I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you want to keep up to date in the future. And I'll uh, see you guys later.